Thank you very much, Speaker. Um, I rise today in great sadness, as many Canadians have, after a weekend where we saw not only Jonathan Peet, the toughest young man to ever, ever come out of Eastern Ontario, die from a very painful disease of EB, and then to wake up the next morning to find out that 15 young men tragically were killed as they went to play hockey from Humboldt, Saskatchewan. Speaker, as a hockey mother myself, I have been often inspired by Jonathan Peet and since Saturday, inspired by the generosity and compassion of all Canadians. I want to just say that I've never seen our country come together quite like this, and I grew up in a small mining town that lost 26 miners, and I feel very badly for those who have been left behind uh, and who will struggle, particularly in Saskatchewan, uh, to rebuild their community. But Canadians have really stepped up. I noticed that millions of dollars have been raised Many hockey teams have either provided a moment of silence or even gone one step further for both Jonathan Pete and for the Humboldt Broncos. On the weekend, a picture was drawn by Kerry McGregor of Canada, which I think tells the entire story of the tragedy that our country is going through by having the Humboldt players reach out in heaven to Jonathan Pete. We've seen Tom Cochran, Chronicle Herald, and many others across the, uh, the province here and country uh, reach out to all of those who are affected. I know, Speaker, tomorrow many schools, including my daughter's own, will be wearing jerseys, and I encourage every school in Ontario to make sure that they wear some type of a jersey with a number on it to, uh, to support this team. And I know this legislature has done a moment of silence, and I know probably tomorrow we'll want to wear their jerseys as well. And I just want to, everyone to know that we're in solidarity. And to those who started the Put Your Sticks Out for the Boys, um, I think that that is a very telling and meaningful way uh, to provide a tribute and some solace and comfort. But again, on behalf of the residents of Nepea and Carleton, and certainly the hockey family of which I belong to, my heart and my prayers are with Jonathan Pete's family, as well as all of those who are affected by the tragedy in Saskatchewan. Thank you.